John Swan is a YouTuber widely respected for the trust you can have in his word. He's someone who's always believing at his word because someone as credible as John Swan would never lie. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, funny. In today's video, and you're going to have to stick with me because this will be a hard sell, I'm going to convince you as to why I believe John Swan, the person whose career is built on integrity, may have lied. But before that, I'd like to present another shocking realization, almost as shocking as John Swan lying. I personally believe this button will say the word nut when I press it. Which, I know, again, I'm making very extreme claims that are very hard to believe, but look. Nice. So yeah, as you can see, I'm going to tell you the truth. The, the, the unbelievable truth about John Swan in this video. And obviously doing so means I have to acknowledge that... <laughs> John is probably going to cut ties with me following this and call me dishonest, disingenuous or any other plethora of words say I'm using this to get back at him or whatever else, you know. If just because I'm associated with someone or want to remain on good terms with someone, I water down or restrict my criticism towards them, I wouldn't be a very reliable narrator and my videos would be damaged for it. So as I would criticize any friend or person I'm associated with for bad actions they've been involved in, I'm going to criticize John today just as you can support me in criticizing john i don't know where this one's going by clicking the subscribe button like like how i click like how i'm clicking this button click subscribe so if you aren't aware, last year I and John Swan had quite a large controversy surrounding the YouTuber Dream because John had trolled me on an alt account where he impersonated Dream and then lied about it, said it wasn't him, it was an autistic sibling of his, pushed the blame towards that sibling and let his friends take the fall in place of him when allegations were made that he was lying by dream. Hey commentary community, I'm outside right now touching some grass. Uh, I think you guys could all take a little bit of advice from that. Remember, the internet isn't as serious as you may think it is. You may think a lot of the things hold more weight than they really do. Try and get outside, touch some grass sometime. What a fucking liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. Because John lied to his friends' faces and sacrificed their credibility, John was widely regarded as an untrustworthy narrator and a liar beyond all levels of acceptability for a content creator who makes content like his that prides itself on his credibility, on being better than the people he critiques. I and many others forgave John over the past year between the dream situation and now, with me coming back into association with John, being willing to hear him out and believe that he'd changed that he would never do anything like this again if he found himself in a large controversy. So a Google Doc was released on a YouTuber called Kami. He's a small creator. It doesn't really matter to this video. The Google Doc alleged that Kami had taken advantage of a 15 year old at 18 in a quite sexually explicit relationship with many genuinely like crusty DMs being leaked where they were sexting, which found people like John making memes upon the realization of this allegation as people thought that Cammy had done something wrong. Now, a lot of context was left out of that situation. There was no evidence any nudes had been shared and the minor themselves did not even believe this relationship was wrong. In fact, being completely okay with it and Cammy had checked with them on multiple occasions to make sure they were okay with this. Now, while I personally think a 15 year old dating an 18 year old is quite a gray area and something I personally would say is not a good thing. Many people, including myself, and I'm willing to accept criticism on this, overreacted and alleged that this was grooming. And I was wrong for doing so. While I thought there was something wrong with this relationship, when looked into further, it wasn't as bad as it had been sold within the Google Doc and made out to be. And there was a reason the Google Doc was made out to be much worse than this situation ever was. But we'll get to that. John Swan and other people appeared on a stream by Destiny, where Destiny would talk about these allegations and how he believed this situation to really not be as bad as it was made out and called it out for being not worthy of a Google Doc or any sort of public publicity. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm laughing because it's all funny to me, but you're kind of like trying to destroy somebody's life over some like pretty dumb shit. And people like John Swan would appear on this stream where Bunk, another creator, questioned him on how much involvement he'd had with the Google Doc. And he said he wasn't directly involved. A claim that at the time, nobody could dispute. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, my dude? 
My name was like brought up here like a few times. What's going on? Were you involved in the creation of a document against Cami? Um, that's a I yes. Wasn't... <laughs> it was not directly involved. In that, <laughs> oh God! No. What does not directly involved mean? No, I mean I, I I saw it. Unsurprisingly, he was involved. After John left the call, the alleged miner said that he'd lied, that he was involved with this Google Doc, and they had no idea why he said otherwise, with screenshots later coming out proving that John had in fact suggested the idea to the miner of making the Google Doc. As such, it was quite shocking to realise John had once again lied on a public platform, saying he had no involvement, and also left the 15-year-old Haha Yeah, the person who'd released the Google Doc, to take the fall effectively for him, instead of just admitting that he had some sort of involvement involvement, and that involvement was quite extreme. It's been speculated that because John had disagreements with Cami and didn't like Cami, John had used this situation as a way to get back at Cami. Instead of telling them to take it to the police if he really believed something was wrong here, he suggested to the miner that they had two options, either release a Google Doc anonymously or release a Google Doc attached to their name with other people involved to expose Cami. Two options both involving Google Docs against some dude with 1k subs instead of taking it to the police. And while this Google Doc was being made, John was behind the scenes creating memes satirizing the situation ready to coincide with the release of the Google Doc and bring publicity to it. Now, already, that seems quite surprising. Why would John lie about having direct involvement? But John could still argue that in his mind, this wasn't direct involvement at this point. Or so he would like you to believe. John had actually edited massive parts of the Google Doc involving changing the statement the victim had made in which they were quite favorable to Cami, explained that he'd checked if it was okay several times and that they necessarily weren't against this. Changing that entire statement statement to represent it completely differently than the victim wanted to in a statement labelled as the victim's testimony on this situation. The original statement read, after this it continued, he made jokes and started liking it after I asked him if he did. He continued on and tried asking me if it was okay multiple times. He's aware of my age by the way, so he kept asking if it was weird or not. I'd tell him I didn't think it was weird, I really didn't think much of it. As it continued on, he said he was very hard. You could say he basically told me he was pleasured by what I was saying to him. And John's edited version of this read, Cam used me for his own sexual pleasure when I was in a vulnerable state. He knew what he was doing was wrong, comparing his actions to those who have been cancelled from the community. He said how I made him happy. He called me cute, said I was his darling, and he made me feel appreciated and loved. But all he ever wanted was sexual pleasure, and he used me to get what he wanted. I'm ashamed that I ever took part in any of it. John completely changed the statement the miner had made in an attempt to make Cammy look worse in this situation and make it as if the victim had been exploited under their own testimony when that wasn't what they said at all. Now, that, that sounds like direct involvement to me, but, but, but maybe I'm wrong. What would I know? And this wasn't the only edit. In fact, there are several others. So for John to claim he had no direct involvement and let all of the backlash of potentially ruining someone's life to fall on the 15 year old friend of his who was on Destiny stream defending it. And I think it speaks volumes that John continues to lie and lets the backlash fall into his friends instead of taking accountability when he was involved, distancing himself as far from this behavior as possible. And when called out for this, when people like Aiden messaged John and asked him about the fact he'd edited this, he said he forgot the edits he'd made a week ago because the stress made him forget it. What the fuck, dude? You made people believe you'd changed. You acted as if you'd learned. You told people like me in private you knew what you did was wrong, but you did it again. The exact same thing that ruined your career, that you were so desperate to clear your name of, you did it again. Hello everyone, I just wanted to announce that I have acquired AirPods, you know, I've got the drip. You don't have the drip, I've got the drip. So with that being said, please don't try and take pictures, please don't try and approach me right now, because I've got the drip, you don't have the drip, I've got the drip, I'm superior, you're not. That's what I have to say. John would also claim he never tried to imply that Cammy was a predator on Destiny's stream. What a fucking- That was also a lie. Because I messaged John in private about the Cammy situation when I first initially saw it, and I only recently read over these messages with Aiden and realized how bad they were, where he called Cammy a predator. What a fucking liar, dude! I'm sure he'll argue that he was joking, but why would anyone trust his word at this point? It's so disappointing. And these aren't even the only lies John has told, because on a stream, Aiden and Bunk would go over another lie John had told, involving a situation surrounding Pie Man, someone who, at 15, 
had dated a 12 year old while believing they were 13 and said some questionable messages surrounding it that found people like John telling them that this would haunt them for the rest of their life and various other things while trying to push them out of the community which was criticized quite heavily and found people like Willie Mac show making a very good video about it that I'd suggest watching for all the context. John would accept that he was wrong in this situation and apologize to Pie Man but even during this apology John was just as disingenuous as he's seemingly always been. You see as was exposed in this stream John planned to and actually recorded this apology call and intended through various different puppet accounts he and others would be involved with get this apology out to make him look Look like the good guy so all of the drama surrounding him and pie man would go away it must be somebody tied to you or you john right yeah and that's something you want to say to it couldn't just be one of you guys and then one of you guys send it to someone else and then someone else send it to someone else and it just went like on a train because obviously i don't care I don't know. No, okay. I'm, no, I'm just uh, you, you would have a motive, though. You would have the motive of, I guess, setting your reputation straight. The question is, how convincing is the call, though? Because I've seen some of it, but that was a while ago. So how, like... No, the call's pretty bad. How compelling would your case be in stuff. this situation? I mean, Nick, Nick listened to it, and he was like, you have a very good case here. And if Nick says I have a very good case, then, you know, I, I think I have a pretty good case. Um... I don't know, it's pretty, I was pretty like, dude, in that call, I was just like, I just want it all to end, and I was like, I was so incredibly compromising, I gave him the out on every opportunity, like every single thing that he could have had, like fault for, I basically said, it's no worries, don't worry about it, or like, uh, it's not your fault, or uh, you know, I gave him the out at every single opportunity. There was no blame on him in literally anything in that call, pretty much. Um, it looks incredibly bad for him, incredibly good for me. There is uh, there is almost no framing that that looks bad for me, that call. It is, it is, it's pretty bad for Pine. And we can listen to it later, the full thing, but I no, feel like you, if yeah. you want to, if we want to do this, there's only one way. You create a, a new Twitter account with a number that none of you have registered. So we get someone else to make a, a Google voice number or something. And then we, we leak it through that. So it has no ties to literally anyone. And at this point, I and many others simply can't trust John's word. And I find there's no reason for me to not call him out for this. If John truly wanted to change, if John wanted to gain back his credibility and continue making content, he wouldn't be doing this. And after being called out for many actions like this, just before it was exposed that he did have direct involvement with this Google Doc, he wouldn't have been making statements on Twitter, character attacking the people who were calling him out for his involvement with this Google Doc, saying things like, I stand by the statements I have made because I know that I have told the truth. Dishonest people who have vendettas against me have twisted the narrative on purpose. If you believe them without a second thought, then that's on you. I have seen so many tweets of people saying the most outrageous shit that clearly isn't true, and people believing it out of blind hatred. These individuals are all insane and lack basic critical thinking skills. Before it was exposed that John had direct involvement with this Google Doc and had edited various portions of it, he was claiming that he told the truth in saying he had no involvement and the people who were criticizing him for it were dishonest and had vendettas against him and had twisted the narrative. I'm just so disappointed. I wanted to believe that John had changed when he apologized to me that he wouldn't lie about other people but fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me i see no reason to justify defending john any further if john wants to rebuild his credibility he's going to have to prove that he's changed and that's not going to be an easy battle but it's also not my or other people's responsibility to make that battle any easier for him He's lied seemingly in three situations now about very serious, various different claims, and he's let his friends take the fall for him in almost all of them. So, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Nice. Wait, no, don't not. Nah. <laughs> God, I didn't think that went through. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, cool. Okay, please, please don't. Nah. Aiming for 100k, so your support would be highly appreciated. I'll see you next time. Why did I ever believe this weaselly little fuck? Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me.
I'm a stylish guy Spend a little guac when a nigga like me We can catch a fly Say she wanna rock when a nigga like me